Welcome to my channel, A Place to Dock. I am Julia. I'm grateful that you have the moments to share with me and I'm happy to be embraced by your presence. Today, let's do a reading to see what things we need to heal in our lives and how we can find hope. Uh, we'll see what aspect of our life is needing to be focused on at this moment. And we'll see what comes out. Nothing's coming out now, so we're just going to ring the bell just to set the stage. Oh, there's something. Okay. Two cards come out. That's good. <clears throat> okay. And we'll find some hope. Okay. Okay. All right. So, here we have... The Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups, okay? Eight of Wands and then the Four of Cups in reverse. So the Eight of Wands, this is for what we're processing and dealing with. We're wanting to have information. We want it quickly and we want something solid that we can actually put our passions onto. However, we are, um, we have been an emotional neutral. We've been not accepting things, but now we're we're ready to start looking and seeing what is there for us. So I'm not sure if it's healing as much, but uh, it's been on our minds a lot that we need to to watch for these informations, and we've been concerned about these things. Are they going to be giving us the message that we need? Will we know what to do next? Will we be able to take this cup? I guess that's more the concern. Are we getting the right messages as well? And are we doing the right thing? Are we making the right choice? These are are very much weighing on our minds right now. <clears throat> the answer is we are getting divine answers, okay? These are ideas with this Ace of Swords we're getting, and it comes with the Judgment card. So we will be getting divine messages and they are good, going to be messages that lead us to our victory. This is also the judgment card is taking us to a new level. We're leaving the old behind us and we're ready to step into our new life. So with this new ideas that we're getting, know that they are good, they are positive, and we can trust them. We are being guided. And also at the same time, we are being called to something better. And the next step in our life is coming to us and we need to step into it. We need to trust it. We need to listen. We need to follow our gut instinct and go for it because we are definitely on a major life change right now. Okay, so that is really good. And again, I'm going to um, pull from the Seeds of Shakti cards. These are black and white cards on the backs and they're all colorful on the other side. So we're going to see what oracle card we can find today so that we can think about this and meditate on it as we're going about our day. Oh, three cards. Okay. Um, I have not had this card before. This is great. It says, Buddha, be mindful, be detached, be compassionate. Okay. This was the first one that came up all by itself and the other two are upside down. So be mindful, be detached. So when these messages come in, just let the message sit there, let it weigh it, think it, and just be detached from it and be compassionate with yourself. And let's see what these other two are. Okay. Next one is turtle, sorry, turtle, trust in the wisdom of creation. Isn't that gorgeous? Trust in the wisdom of creation. So you might want to watch for turtles. I know here they are on the road sometimes in the spring. But also just take your time and trust. Okay? And the next one is Shiva. Celebrate your transformations. Okay? We are being transformed into something new. We are on a new path. 
are going to reach a new level, a new goal, a new layer in our health, wealth, and in our thinking, okay? So I trust that this has been helpful for you today. And uh, if you do like my channel, please subscribe and like this video. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.